Good morning, we're here in Acorn Close over in the Langshot area of Hawley and I'm about to show you number one, which is this rather lovely detached house here. Um, originally uh, built as a three bedroom detached in the late 80s. Um, this one has had a garage conversion. So you've got that fourth bedroom or that flexible space downstairs to have an office. So the lovely thing is you've got a dining room, a lounge and this ground floor room. So that gives you six rooms in total. So if you're like a lot of people now, you're asking us for rooms rather than bedrooms because you work from home, then this is absolutely ideal. Um, but the ac acorn close, just so you know, is off Middlefield which in turn is off Copps Lane and this is regarded as the Langshot area. Uh, we're on the east side of Hawley so the railway station and the town centre um, according to Google Maps from where I'm standing is about 0.8 0.9 miles away uh, by car it's longer but the lovely thing about these new developments is there's loads of little alleyways and cut throughs so once you know the area and you understand the geography everything's very easy and if you are a family because these developments are so popular with family you can walk to all the schools so basically we've got Langshot, Trinity Oaks, um, Hawley Infants and Yattenden all primary schools you can walk to and of course uh, the main uh, secondary school is also within an easy walk. So ideal location for our families. Um, Hawley, we're very close to Gatwick Airport. So Gatwick is only a, well, by car is three miles. On foot, you can walk it. There are uh, some great walkways. So come and have a look inside. Number one, Acorn Close. Just gonna whip my shoes off. This house is absolutely spotless. The owners have been here about seven years. They've had it all redecorated, so it's spotlessly clean. Uh, before I show you the main house, let me just show you what is the old garage conversion. So flick some lights on. So you've got this lobby here come utility area. That's on a raised uh, plinth with a big pull-out drawer. So that could be lower. Reason I'm showing you this is because in my opinion, let me flick some lights on, this whole area, this downstairs loo, there's an understairs cupboard here. This could be a little en suite if you wanted to for what is the ground floor bedroom or home office. So a nice size double bedroom. So anyone who wants a ground floor suite, the owner's son is in the Navy. So this is a great space when he's home uh, from, from work. Uh, but it, like I say, would make a lovely home office or a little bedroom suite with an ensuite shower room there quite easily. So come and have a look around the rest of the house. At the front, got a dining room. Lovely with that bay window looking at the front. Something I should have mentioned, real luxury is even on this estate, they've got parking out there for three to four cars. A lot of them have only got parking for one or two. So if you've come from a house, part of the attraction when the owners bought this house was all the parking. Kitchen, nice long kitchen. There's a built-in oven and a dishwasher. They've got a pull-out bin store there. And of course, the door out to the back garden. I'll show you out there in a minute rather lovely we picked a nice morning something i should have said i mean the acorn acorn close is a really lovely cul-de-sac everyone's really made an effort with their gardens it's all very tidy i know it's the summer time but it does make a difference living room at the back a lot of potential to extend as as well actually i've not um seen many of the houses where they've done loft conversions but i'm seeing that all the time even in modern houses where they have engineered roofs people are actually taking the roofs off rebuilding it and putting in more bedrooms this is misty the misty is actually the customer is this who we're working for misty's very much in charge this morning and let's show you around in order so firstly you got the bathroom this was all revamped a few years ago so a lovely white suite you've got the Oversized bath with a shower over. Very nice. Separate loo. So separate WC there. So it's handy to have the downstairs cloakroom and a separate loo upstairs. And then going around in order, this is the smallest of the bedrooms, which is still a nice size. This is a double bedroom by, by my standards. For a house built in the late 80s, early 90s, these were generously proportioned. But that was a nice thing because a lot of these houses... These are what I call super-sized three beds. You know, some of the four beds weren't a lot bigger. Big wardrobe in there. So generous proportions. Airing cupboard is in there. Great big deep airing cupboard. Now the boiler has been replaced just before the owners bought it. That's up in the loft. So you've got a decent loft space and it's a mains gas boiler. Biggest of the bedrooms. Lovely side room this. Overlooking the rear gardens. Again, really nicely decorated, but very neutral. So anyone coming in, if, you don't, if you're not happy with it, you can change it, paint it, do the papering, whatever you wish. Wardrobe in this one. 
And then the second bedroom, which is another lovely big room. They've got a lot of stuff in here, so and it still, still works very well. Overlooking the back. So there you go. So you've got three decent bedrooms upstairs, that fourth bedroom or third reception room downstairs, which, as I mentioned, could have a little ensuite shower room in there quite easily. And then come and have a look in the back garden. Give you an idea of the space here. But really private, this garden. So they've obviously got their sun trap there. But all fully enclosed by fencing, lots of hedging and trees, so you're nice and private. And the other thing I quite like is the fact that the houses in this road are staggered. So you've got your own sort of terrace there. The neighbour is much further back. Just gives you that bit more privacy. And really fabulous little workshop here. That's a, a, a metal shed, but there's power and lighting in there. But there you go. That is number one, the Acorns in the Langshot area of Hawley. You can walk to several schools. You're under a mile to the town centre and railway station. Um, Gatwick is literally only three miles away. And obviously the M23 is nearby as well. So if you need to drive up to London and so on, everything is very convenient. But I hope that's of interest. If you are interested and you're impressed and find this video helpful, please let our Hawley office know. Because if you want a video done like this of your house, we're very happy to accommodate. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.